T-Rex Trick or Treats by Lewis G. Grambling, illustrated by Jack E. Davis. It was the darkest night of the year. It was the scariest night of the year. It was Halloween. T-Rex finished carving his jack-o'-lantern. It had long, sharp, pointy teeth, just like his. He stuck a candle in it and put it in the window. Eek! screamed some trick-or-treaters passing by. T-Rex was going trick-or-treating later that night with his friends, but he hadn't decided what to wear. He knew, though, that he wanted to wear something that would make him look scary. Maybe I can wear a white sheet and be a ghost, T-Rex said. That would make me look scary. But then he remembered his friend Diplodocus was going to wear a white sheet and be a ghost. Maybe I can wear something with bones painted on it and be a skeleton, T-Rex said. That would make me look scary. But then he remembered his friend Stegosaurus was going to wear something with bones painted on it and be a skeleton. Maybe I can wear a pointy hat and be a witch, T-Rex said. That would make me look scary. But then he remembered his friend Iguanodon was going to wear a pointy hat and uh, be a witch. T-Rex was beginning to worry what he, would he wear tonight. Just then his doorbell rang. Trick or treat! shouted a scary ghost that was his friend. Diplodocus, trick or treat, shouted a scary sh skeleton that was his friend Stegosaurus, trick or treat, shouted a scary witch that was his friend Iguanodon. T-Rex invited them in. You aren't dressed, said Diplodocus, I haven't decided what to wear, said T-Rex. Decide soon or all the treats will be gone, said the boy. Don T Rex didn't want that to happen. Do you have any suggestions? he asked. Maybe you could wear a pair of giant wings and be a bat, said the blogus. Not scary. Enough, said T Rex, frowning. Maybe you could wear some twitchy whiskers and be a black cat, said Stegosaurus. Not scary. Enough, said T Rex, frowning, a big frown. Maybe you could wear a carved out pumpkin and carry a candle and be a jack-o'-lantern like the one in your window, said Iguanodon. Eek! screamed some passing trick-or-treaters. Not scary. Enough, said T-Rex, frowning a very big frown. Diplodocus and Stegosaurus and Iguanodon stared at their friend. Maybe you should go trick-or-treating tonight and ask yourself wearing just that very big frown. They said, I don't want to go trick-or-treating tonight as myself wearing just this very big frown. T-Rex said, I want to go trick-or-treating wearing something that will make me look scary. Diplodocus and Stegosaurus and Iguanodon stared at their friend again wearing that very big frown. You do look scary, they said. T-Rex looked in the mirror. Eek! He screamed. I do! Eek! He screamed again. I would scare myself! And with you wearing that very big frown, said Diplodocus, looking so very scary, said Stegosaurus. What do you think we'll get when we ring doorbells tonight, said Iguanodon. Lots and lots and lots of trees, said T-Rex. Later that dark Halloween night, as soon as their trick-or-treat bags filled up and they filled up fast, T-Rex stopped groaning and started smiling. Eek! Screamed some light trick-or-treaters staring up at Tyrannosaurus Rex's long, sharp, pointy teeth. Eek! They screamed again as they hurried up into the darkness. 
The Vlad kiss and stick a sword in the Gwen are down and stared at their friend. Maybe next Halloween, said the Vlad kiss, instead of wearing a very big crowd, said stick a sword. You should wear that very big smile, said the Gwen are done. Now that would be really scary. The three friends said T Rex said he would think about it. Happy Halloween, everybody!